Hi everyone. So today I just want to make a video on 365 versus G of 364. So I'm trying to show you which one is bigger. So number file just post a video today uh, as of the making of this video they just make a video on tree of G64 versus G of 364 so they are asking or they're trying to show which one is bigger and of course they prove that which is quite obvious tree of G64 is way 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 bigger than G of 364 so if you want to check that out be sure you know if you want to see the details be sure to check out that number five video but here I'm gonna ask a even more interesting question or a bigger question which is 365 versus G of 364 which one is bigger so obviously this one is bigger than this one as proven by number file but I think something more interesting um, which is 365 so do, what do you guys think before uh, I tell you the answer which one do you think is bigger is 365 already bigger than G of 364 so you can pause the video and think about that um, quickly and you can resume this video once you have decided which one is bigger and see if you're right um, again uh, number five proved that this is way bigger than this one but this is kind of obvious actually the bigger question is um, can this already can 365 already beat this number so let's find out and I'm trying to explain as easily as possible so I try to explain in simple terms or layman terms um, so first um, there's some few uh, a few facts that I want to state out uh, before we start so first of all we already know that tree of n is way bigger than g of n or in other words tree n grows way faster than gn uh, when n is bigger than or equal to 3 which means in other words, tree 3 is way bigger than G3. This is very obvious. Um, of course, assuming you already know the two functions before. And in fact, tree 3 is not just only bigger than G3. Tree 3 is way bigger than G64. And it is actually safe to say that tree 3 is also way bigger than G of G64. So. In other words, tree 3 is bigger than G of a very large number. So in here, G64, of course, is a very big number. But tree 3 is way bigger than that. So it kind of means that tree 3 is bigger than G of a very large number. You can put a very large number here, and tree 3 can still be bigger than it. And in this case, I mean, let's let this very large number be X. So in this case, it will be g x so how large does x has to be in order to be 3 3 so we all know that um, g x at some point has to be bigger than 3 3 if x is large enough um, so in order for this to be true x has to be smaller than 3 3 um, this it makes a lot of sense because if x is bigger than or equal to 3 3 then gx is larger than 3 3 so if you if this larger number is bigger than or equal to 3 3 so it will become g of 3 3 which obviously is bigger than 3 3 um, so but now um, let's we're not trying to I mean we all know that uh, when x is bigger than 3 3 then gx is bigger than 3 3 but what about 3 of 65 so um, we all know that 364 is smaller than g of 364 as explained in this uh, expression over here uh, because this part 364 is just equal to this part over here and you put g in the front of course this is going to be bigger than this but what about 365 which is the point of this video 
So now um, I'm gonna show a an easy example or an easy way to show that which one is bigger using uh, two very simple function, a way easier function to explain than the tree function because tree function is very hard to explain in Neyman terms. Uh, some people may, may even think G is difficult, but tree is way, way, way more difficult to explain. But let's use the two way easier expression or functions. So now let's look at two functions over here. The first one is A uh, N. So the first function is A N and the second function is B of N. So A of N is equal to N plus N and uh, B of N is equal to N to the power of N. And now you can already clearly see that uh, B of N grows faster than A N as you can see here because this is N to the power of N and this is just N plus N which is basically equal to 2 N. Um, and again, this one grows faster than this one, or Bn is bigger than An when n is bigger than or equal to 2. And now, let's look at this one. Which one is bigger? B of 65 versus A of B 64. So which one do you think is bigger in this case? Now let's find out. So we use 65 because this is the original question here, which is you know easier to explain. That's why we use 65 and 64 over here. This is kind of, you know, it looks similar to this one, which is the question we're gonna ask for this video. So B of 65 is basically equal to 65 to the power of 65, because this is the definition. N to the power of N, so 65 to the power of 65 is around 6.9 times 10 to the power of 117. So this number has 117 digits. So this number is bigger than Google. And now let's look at A of B of 64. So this one is equal to, uh, we have to solve this part first, of course. So this one equals to A of 64 to the power of 64 because B of 64 is equal to 64 to the power of 64 using this definition over here and this equals to around a of 3.9 times 10 to the power of 115 because this number is around 3.9 to the times 10 to the power of 15 and then this whole thing equals to 2 times 3.9 times 10 to the power of 115 because a is just equal to n plus n which is 2n so that's why 2 times this number which is around 7.9 times 10 to the power of 115 and now you can already see that this number 6 times 6.9 times 10 to the power of, of 117 is way bigger than 7.9 times 10 to the power of 115 this number has 117 digits and this number has 115 digits. So therefore we can conclude that B of 65 is bigger than A of B of 64. And you know you can kind of translate it to this expression over here. So B of n plus 1 is bigger than A of B of n. Um, n here you know it's just 64. So this is 64 plus 1 is 65. And we can kind of have a conclusion already. So since we know that tree of n is way, 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 way bigger than g of n, or you know, tree n grows way, 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 way faster than g of n. Um, in that means tree of sixty-five. We can safely say that tree of sixty-five is way bigger than g of tree sixty-four. Um, because this one it grows faster than this one it's quite much faster than this one but we know that tree the magnitude between these two function is not even funny this one is way 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 faster grows way faster than this one um, and this one I know is already grows faster than this but the magnitude between these two the, the growth rate is nothing compared to the difference between these two. So it's very safe to say that, in other words, using this kind of easy proof over here, we can argue that 365 
is already much bigger than G of 3 of 64. So hopefully you enjoy this quick video. Um, I mean, yeah, number five, be sure to check out number five's video. Um, I mean, they already explained uh, G of G64 is way bigger than G of 364, but I think that doesn't uh, quite show you how much faster the tree function grows compared to the G function. And this just show you how crazy the how much crazier the tree function is uh, compared to the G function. So thanks for watching and have a nice day.